Okay, so that's our roof deck on. All we've got to do now is run our barge cappings down each side, put a little apron flashing up the top here, pop the gutter on at the end, and that's the back of this roof complete. So we've got our trim deck roof on, we've got our top deck membrane on. Once we put these flashings in, that's pretty much it, we're watertight. So a little bit of cladding left to finish off, pop in some windows, we're at lock-up stage. Coming along nicely. you how to cut in some roof flashings. You only really need your snips, a set square and a pencil and you can mark it out and you can start cutting. So I'll show you a few little tricks to make it nice and easy to get these flashings cut in. Make that nice and neat and you can just trim these little ends off as well. Green set to make it easier. So what I'll do is I'll bend these ends in a little bit. And in theory, that should just fold up to our desired height. All right, so that's a pretty good fit. Just need to do a little bit of panel, panel beating to get it into place. Now what we're gonna do is drop this nozzle over the top, run a bit of silicon around it, we'll pop some rivets into it. Once the nozzle's in position, I'm just going to dry rivet it. Now that we've got that stop end on, we'll come back late after we've got the other nozzle on, and we'll seal in around there to make sure it's all watertight. So when you're doing your guttering, one thing you want to remember is to have plenty of fall. What I like to do is attach one gutter bracket at the far end of the beam and then a gutter bracket at the, the other end, keeping one up on the high side, close to the underside of the sheet as possible, and then down where the downpipe's going to be, having enough fall. So this is about four metres long, this beam. I've given it about 40 mil fall, so it's about 10 millimetres per metre, which is more than enough. Once you get each gutter bracket on the end, either pull a string line through or flick a chalk line like I've done here and that way each intermediate bracket all you have to do is fix at the chalk line or string line to get the, a nice straight line through there. Another thing to remember is making sure you turn down the sheets. The reason we do that is to stop any capillary action of the water running back up. When your sheets are laying pretty flat sometimes you can get that dew or a light rain where the water will come down and want to track back up the inside of the sheet. So by turning that down that allows any water just sitting at the end just to drop straight down into the gutter. There we have it, beautiful. All I'll do now is probably put a couple of tacks up the back of the gutter so it doesn't roll, and then we're good to go. Once I get a post, our post in for the veranda beam, we can drop in the uh, downpipe, and then we're all done.